let's talk about the two different fates of the medial branches so the medial branch has to basically come out through the medial side of the ganglions all right so this is again the spinal cord cut section the sympathetic fibers that are preganglionic enter your thoracic ganglion here they undergo synapse or a relay where the ganglion says you rest i'll carry out the rest of the work myself here they synapse and postganglionic fibers will come out of this ganglion and these postganglionic fibers will be distributed in the various plexus or bundles of nerves in your o cap areas esophageal branches given to the esophagus cardiac branches given to your cardiac plexus of nerves and aortic branches given off to your aorta and then the pulmonary branches given off to the lungs so these postganglionic fibers then get distributed to these plexuses or these organs all right in this case the preganglionic sympathetic fibers are shorter while the postganglionic fibers are longer these type of branches mostly occur in the upper five thoracic ganglions so upper five ganglion carry the postganglionic fibers to these plexuses however in the second case which is from fifth to 12th thoracic ganglions the case is a little different this time they do not like the appearance of this ganglion they do not want to be friends with this ganglion they prefer having a more loyal friend these nerves do not relay in this ganglion these nerves directly completely ignore this ganglion and go to the various organ it has to supply there is a wide distribution of ganglions in your entire body ganglion mean collection of nerve cell bodies so there are multiple ganglions kept closer to the organs hence these do not like to be friends with this ganglion so they go to those ganglions kept close by to the various organs and that's where they synapse with those ganglions and become short postganglionic fibers that supply the for example the aorta so in this case the celiac ganglion is where they go and synapse the celiac ganglion is a major important ganglion in your abdominal area apart from this they can also go to the superior mesenteric ganglion they can go to the inferior mesenteric ganglion it depends however what's more important to know is that in this case the fibers are preganglionic and the preganglionic sympathetic fibers are longer so this case happens in lower ganglions the 5 6 7 8 and 9 the medial branches of 5th 6th 7th 8th and 9th ganglion these come together these are all once again let me remind you these are all preganglionic fibers these unite and form the greater splanchnic nerve so this becomes the greater splanchnic nerve and the greater splanchnic nerve carries what the preganglionic fibers of the 5th to 9th ganglion these greater splanchnic nerve pierces the crust of the diaphragm on either side and it goes to the celiac ganglion and synapses there where short postganglionic fibers arise and supply the organs for example intestine or the aorta similarly the the medial branches of the 10th and 11th ganglion form the lesser splanchnic nerve the lesser splanchnic nerve similarly pierces the crust of the diaphragm enters the celiac ganglion or the superior mesenteric ganglion and synapses and finally we have the medial branch of the 12th thoracic ganglion now this is known as the least splanchnic nerve and this goes and synapses with these ganglion and supplies the organs definitely a tough concept however if this is played in repetition it gets easier and easier so that was a more in depth understanding of your sympathetic chain now let's talk about it in direct terms which you will understand better now because now you have the concept so the thoracic sympathetic chain is a ganglionated chain located on either side of your vertebral column of the thoracic area or the thoracic vertebral column these ganglions are 12 in number apart from the thoracic ganglion there are cervical ganglions and up to l2 there are ganglion however we're talking about the thoracic ganglions today because we're talking about the topic of thorax these are 12 ganglion in number basically the sympathetic fibers arising from the uh, spinal nerves enter these ganglions and meet four fates either they enter through the spinal nerve via the white rami communicants and they can go above ganglion or they can go to the lower ganglion and they can just synapse there and provide uh, branches from there 
Second fate is that they become the lateral branch while traveling via the gray rami communicants, entering the spinal nerves and supplying the skin and blood vessels of the skeletal muscle with sympathetic supply. And the third, fourth fate includes the medial branches of these thoracic sympathetic ganglia, in which the upper five ganglia basically give medial branches, which are postganglionic, which supply the O cap plexuses to give supply to the esophagus, cardiac area, aortic and pulmonary area. The fifth to ninth sympathetic fibers from these ganglia are mostly preganglionic. The fifth to ninth, all together they form the greater splanchnic nerve, pierce the crust of the diaphragm and they go and synapse with a distal place celiac ganglion. The celiac ganglion from which they become the postganglionic fibers and supply the organs. The 10th, 11th form lesser splanchnic nerve and has a similar route while the 12th thoracic sympathetic ganglion basically forms the least splanchnic nerves and same route it synapses in the ganglions placed closer to the organs. Hence the above five ganglions have larger postganglionic fibers while the 5th to 12th thoracic sympathetic fibers have longer preganglionic fibers. So that is a quick review for the thoracic sympathetic chain. Thank you so much for watching.